Good morning, this is February the 16, 2024, Friday, and we are in GBIS first year compulsory English class where we have a presentation on Unit 10, Making Connections, and this presentation is by Aditi Neopani. Aditi Neopani. So let's listen to Aditi. Uh, Aditi, take time, don't hurry, and explain one by one. Come. Uh, Aditi, before we start, uh, we both are being recorded in the camera, and you know, I might post it on my Facebook page, or I might upload this on YouTube. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Okay, go <clears throat> So, good morning, everyone. I am Aditi Neopani, and the uh, uh, topic of my text is the state of the world's health. Come in. We have a new guest. Yes. You have a presentation, I guess? No? No. Since <laughs> four class, right? So this is the topic of this text. And, okay. and this uh, text is from the book Making Connections. Making Connections. Aditi, yes. I have a question. I don't know about this title Making Connections. How is this is a suitable title? I don't know. Can you say something about this title, Making Connection, why this title? So I think uh, this text mm. makes not... connections with the world's health to the li lifestyle choices of the people. So Just the... like you see, our body, if you see, imagine that our body is like an essay. Imagine that our body is like a text or paragraph. So you will see that our body has different parts. Like fingers are down here at the end of the hand, right? But they have a connection with the heart. Yes. So you will see that there are uh, various parts of the body, but these parts are interconnected. And the body can survive, stand up, talk like me, I'm doing, because all parts are functioning together. I'm alive because all my body parts are working together. So just as a body has different parts, and these different parts have to work together for the body to function. The text also has different parts. Anything we write has different parts. And making connection means to understand a text, you should be able to see the connection of one part with another part. For example, uh, uh, in the first uh, 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 in the first line, there may be a topic sentence, for example, I don't know. There may be a topic sentence, right? Topic sentence in the beginning. And this topic sentence may be repeated at the end of the paragraph as a conclusion. So, topic sentence and conclusion are two parts of a paragraph. But making connection means topic sentence and the conclusion are connected. They are connected like that. So let's let's listen to this smart child, Miss Aditi Neupan. She'll explain better than the teacher. Go on. So the theme of this text the theme of this text is global health and lifestyle choices. I have a question, Aditi. Yes, sir. What do you mean by theme in the, in the text? The what main, is the, the main idea it presents. Okay, an idea that is found mm. everywhere in the text. Yes. An idea that is present in almost every paragraph. Yes. An idea that comes again and again as we read the text. That is called theme. Go on. And the relationship between them both. Okay. Relation between health, good health, global health, health and lifestyle. Oh, look, I'm diabetic. I've got diabetes and it's because of my bad lifestyle. 
I got diabetes because of my bad lifestyle. For example, uh, every day I sit, I sit 14 to 16, 17 hours non-stop in my bed and study in my laptop. And this increases my blood sugar because I have, I have zero physical activity. I have zero physical activity. I don't walk. I don't stand up. I just sit in my bed for how long? 15, 17 hours. Read it. And that's not a good thing. So this essay is about your lifestyle and your health. Go on. So, individual. Individuals regularly make decisions about their physical and mental health. This is the main idea of this text. Right, main idea. Good. I, li I like Aditi. I really appreciate you. have got it. Main idea. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. They do this part. You can change colors for main idea and details. There is blue color option also. So yes, now. They do this partly because a serious illness can have a devastating effect on a person and his or her family. Okay, so the health of a person, an individual, is related to the health of his or her family. Similarly, just as the health of a family is connected to individuals within that family, the health of a nation is clearly connected to the health of its people. So the health of a family of an individual is related to its uh, is related to its family, and the health of a nation is related to to its people. So if the people are the people in a nation are healthy, the nation is also considered mm. healthy. Keep reading, read, read. A country's economic strength depends on a healthy, productive workforce. Obviously, a country cannot function with a sick or ill or sick or ill citizens. Therefore, it is an it is the interest of governments to monitor the health of the of their population and to examine the connections between such factors as health and lifestyle. So health is related with lifestyle. Using statistics from the government's international organizations such as WHO, World Health Organization, then try to answer an important question. How healthy is the world? This is also the main idea. This, this text uh, answers how the WHO tries to answer this question. How healthy so is the world? This answers the question. Yes, this question. How healthy is the world? It, it explains how WHO finds out how healthy is the world. Hey, wait a minute. I, I, I want to add something. Can I get one mic? I want to add something. One mic only, only one. Okay, uh, can I get the pen? I feel like adding something to what she's explained. So, uh, Aditi, are you aware about some other things? For example, hello class, who are not paying attention to me, down there these two, we have two brothers, wonderful, wonderful brothers. And you know, all the time they are busy with something, I don't know, earlier. You were playing with something in mobile? No. No, I felt like that. <laughs> I don't know. So, uh, let me explain you something, which uh, Aditi might be aware, but we should know. Look here. So, uh, what is making connection in this paragraph? Let me explain you. The individuals regularly make decisions about their physical and mental health. Now, let me underline this part first, this sentence. This sentence is said called as topic sentence. What do we call it? Topic sentence. What do we call it? Topic sentence. Say it. Topic sentence. Now, topic sentence has two things. For example, uh, it has a topic. Subject matter of the paragraph. Topic means the subject matter about which the para will talk. Nishtha, are you listening to us? Felt like you were busy with something else and not paying attention. Okay, so the individuals is a topic. Now, regularly make decisions about their physical and mental health. So this second part, 
this is known as controlling idea what do you call it controlling idea, controlling idea. means idea that controls what we write about the topic. Idea that controls what we write about the topic. And together, together this whole topic and this whole sentence is also known as is also known as what do we call it? Main idea. Right? Main idea. Now the rest of the paragraph, let me draw a vertical line like this. These we call as what do we call them? Supporting details. Say it. So in writing, you begin with an idea and you develop that idea. You first start with an idea and you begin that idea. So you develop that idea. So here you have the idea. What idea? Individuals make decisions about their physical and mental health. There are individuals and they make decisions about physical health as well as about the mental health. The main idea is that in the people make decisions about their physical health and mental health. Now look, physically I am a diabetic. So I take decisions about my health. I carry medical kits in my bag to check the blood sugar all the time. I carry tablets. I carry insulin bile and the needle to inject insulin. And uh, I make decisions what food I will eat, what food I will not eat. I, I have intermittent fasting. I took food yesterday around 5 o'clock. Now I will take food this afternoon or after 12. So I will go hungry for 17 hours. For 17 hours I go hungry and for other 7 hours I eat. So I take decisions about my health. So individuals take decisions about their physical and mental health. Mentally I want to be at, at peace, right? That's the main idea. Now let's go into detail. I want to make you understand how, what is making connection in writing? Making connection. They do, let me erase this. They they do this partly because a serious illness can have a devastating effect on a person. You can take it. Yes, yes, good, good. Yeah, I was about to say, why are you standing? And she, she has good common sense. They do this partly because a serious illness can have a devastating effect on a person and on his or her family. Now look. Now come to second sentence. The second sentence starts with they. Let's write it here. This is pronoun. This is pronoun, right? And by definition, we know that pronoun is a word which comes in place of a noun. What is a pronoun? I will, I'll use both mics. <laughs> then I'll give you back. That way I'll have a stereo sound. When you use both mics, you have good sound. Okay. So, they is pronoun, right? Which comes from a noun. Now, can you tell me, what does they stand for in this second sentence? They means? They means? Individuals. They means? What is they? Individuals. Now, to understand what they means, you must connect second sentence with the first sentence. You must go back. If you don't remember the word individuals, you won't understand the meaning of they. Are you getting my point? 
so you must connect they with the word individual that is making connection that is making connection and we call this as this they is called as we call this continuous idea marker what do we call it a word that continues an idea in the previous sentence or we also call this they as we also call it pronoun reference what do we call say it pronoun reference it means this is a pronoun which refers to a noun a pronoun which refers to a noun in the previous sentence now in good writing there are two qualities a good writing should have connection among sentences a good writing should have unity among sentences a good writing should have coherence among sentences i wrote three words connection unity and coherence this connection connection look at my fingers here this connection this unity coherence is created using various techniques one of them is using a pronoun reference use a pronoun now look without remembering the word individual you cannot understand the meaning of the pronoun they bujira cha in nepali are you getting me yeah. he says no i am not getting they do this partly because a serious illness can have a devastating effect on a person on this on his or her family in the second sentence they has a meaning right it tells who they means individuals and without connecting the second sentence's idea to first sentence you can't understand meaning of they are you getting my point and so the word they links second sentence with the first sentence and such a link is called unity in writing what do we call it unity in writing we also call it coherence in writing coherence comes from c o h e r e cohere to go together to go together sentence one and sentence two cohere they go together they fit together because the pronoun in sentence two refers to a noun in sentence one got it ha huh? okay wait a minute there is much more they do this now look we have we have this here this this that what is this what is the word what do you call this a demonstrative a demonstrative a word that helps you point out a word a pointing word a pronoun it's a pronoun you can use doctor this is good doctor now this means doctor pronoun now this means look they do this this means see the pronoun this means regularly make decisions about their physical 
and mental health. So this means the whole idea. So here this refers to the idea in the first sentence. So this is this is called this is called a continuous idea marker means a word that marks an idea which is continuing in the paragraph second sentence is talking about an idea in the first paragraph and i feel like manila is watching mobile phone i don't know don't know i'm just guessing a wild guess am i true Yes. Okay. What are you watching, Manila? Let me let me check, cross check. I just want to know. There was a message from my own side. Huh? 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 There was a message from my own. That's why I was. Distracted. There was a message. Okay. It's good if you avoid such messages because they distract you. Yes. When you receive messages, they distract you. Okay. <laughs> Teachers have watch all around the class, right? And they they quickly find out if you're not paying attention. So these are bad people, right? They disturb you, right? Okay. So this is continuous idea marker, right? Now look. Now to understand what this means, you must remember what you read in first paragraph. Without remembering what sentence one said, you can't understand sentence two. I repeat. without recalling what you read in sentence 1 people make decisions about their physical and mental health without remembering this idea you cannot understand what the word this means in second sentence and when you have to go back to first sentence it again creates it creates connection that is why book is called making connection so how do you make connection you make connection among sentences by using continuous idea markers like this or by using pronoun references like they a pronoun reference like they connects sentence 2 with sentence 1 a pronoun like this connects sentence 2 and sentence 1 by linking the idea that people make decisions about their physical and mental health that is the controlling idea this is a controlling idea now move ahead look how much time you spend explaining a single paragraph yeah okay they do this partly because now look because this is called reason marker what do you call it reason marker a word that marks reason for doing something ask a question here ask a question why do individuals regularly make decisions about their physical and mental health and put a question here Now this is a game of question. I just turned first sentence into a question. If you develop, if you create this as a question, second sentence answers this question, right? And earlier I I told you that all this rest of the paragraph is what do we call it? What do we call it? What do we call it? A paragraph stands on two legs. Main idea, supporting detail. Come here, come here. Stand by my side. Imagine main idea, supporting detail. Come this side. Now main idea, supporting detail. A paragraph stands on two pillars. How many pillars? What are they? Supporting detail. Got it? Thank you. Stay there. Okay. Now move ahead. Wait a minute. 
दे डू दिस पार्टली बिकॉज अ सीरियस इलनेस कैन हैव अ डिवास्टेटिंग इफेक्ट ऑन अ पर्सन एंड ऑन हिज हर फैमिली नुक सेड इज वन मेक्स अ क्लेम सेड इज वन मेक्स अ क्लेम वॉट क्लेम individuals regularly make decisions about their physical and mental health claim assertion claim or assertion what did i say claim or assertion say it assertion a s s e r t i o n assertion to assert something right now said is now look said is one makes a claim sentence to said is to offers a reason to support the claim to support the claim said is one says people make decisions any have question why the sense to answers because a serious illness can have a devastating effect on a person and on his or her his family a serious illness can have a devastating effect on a person and his or her family if if divakar sir becomes seriously ill if divakar sir becomes seriously ill divakar sir's wife too will have problem right and divakar sir's children too will have problem if anybody in the family is sick the whole family is affected now ask a question what is the connection between sins 1 and 2 one answer comes the connection is claim and reason claim and reason sedes one makes a claim sedes one makes a claim and sentence to offers a reason claim and reason okay let's move ahead look how interesting it gets if you are really interested otherwise you will feel sleepy <laughs> okay let's move third sentence i'll explain this for a sentence by sentence Similarly, oh God! Look, let's try it here. Similar is adjective. Similar is adjective. Similarly is adverb. A word that ends with ly is often adverb, right? Similarly, similarly means. in the same way right similarly just as the health of a family is connected to individuals within that family the health of a nation is clearly connected to the health of its people now look second sentence okay health of an individual Oh no! Oh, I made a mistake. Health of family. Draw a line, and then say, "Ah, oh, okay." Health of nation. just as the health of a family connected to individuals now right here uh within that family the health of a nation is clearly connected to the health of its people okay if individuals are healthy family is healthy if 
individuals are healthy families healthy if people are healthy a nation is healthy what is happening here in this in this sentence the health of family and the health of a nation is compared it is compared family health and national health is compared okay similarly now similarly means in the same way now again this word in the same way this is again a continuous marker because the word similarly refers to the idea that individuals make decisions about their physical mental health because serious illnesses can have devastating effect on a person and on his or family so here similarly means in the same way and in the same way means as said in second sentence so do you see the word similarly in sentence 3 the word similarly in sentence 3 refers to the idea in sentence 2 they in sentence 2 refers to individual in sentence 1 this in sentence 2 refers to the idea in sentence 1 in sentence 3 similarly refers to idea in sentence 2 such references are called as such references are called as backward references what do we call it backward. referring to an idea that has gone by references are two types forward reference and backward reference referring to an idea that is not yet expressed you hinting coming up or referring to idea that has gone we call this anaphora and cataphora what do you call say it anaphora technical word say it and cataphora which one which i don't know you check mobile phone okay <laughs> i don't know which one you check mobile phone anaphora cataphora right okay move on third sentence we are reading third sentence right earlier why the third sentence similarly just as the health of a family is connected to individual within family the health of a nation is clearly connected to the health of its people a country's economic a country's economic strength depends on healthy productive workforce let me write here s1 sns1 s2 sns2 s3 sns3 s4 sns4 i am showing you the techniques of connection techniques of connection sns by sns and i showed you how every sentence has some technique to connect with the previous sentence now if you see the third sentence here is a word nation right here is a word nation and here is a word in four country right here nation and right here country so they are they are synonyms right nation and country are synonyms we call this we call this coherence by synonym we call this coherence by synonym look the word nation in sentence number 3 and the word country in sentence of 4 they have same meaning so sentence 4 Connect, gets connected with sentence three. Read sentence three again. 
Similarly, just as the health of a family is connected to individuals within that family, the health of a nation is clearly connected to health of its people. A country's economic strength depends on a healthy, productive workforce. Now look here. Workforce, the word workforce refers to people. Workforce means people. Workforce means people. Therefore, now come here. We have very important word here. Therefore, this is called as we call this as conclusion marker. What do we call it? What do we call it? Conclusion marker. A word that tells that the writer is now coming to a conclusion of his argument. Therefore, it is in the now it, see the pronoun it. Therefore, it is in the interest of governments to monitor, to monitor the health of their population and to examine the connections between such factors as health and lifestyle. Now, this is the conclusion of the sentence. This is the conclusion. And this is the opening. You can also start a sentence with this one. Start from here. Remove therefore and begin here. It is in the interest of government to monitor the health of their health of the populations and to examine the connections between such factors as health and lifestyle because I use it because and begin from here. You can start your paragraph here. You can start your paragraph here and aid because. And give it this. This is this sentence is conclusion. And these sentences are reasons. They are reasons. So this paragraph has a structure of reason plus conclusion. Reason plus conclusion. Reasons leading to a conclusion. And we call this conclusion mark. So do you see this paragraph has how many sentences? Uh, 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 let's write S5. And then using statistics from governments, international organizations such as the World Health Organization, then try to answer an important question. How healthy is the world? It is in the interest of governments to monitor the health of their population and to examine the connections between such factors as health and lifestyle using statistics from governments, international organizations such as the World Health Organization, then try to answer an important question. How healthy is the world? Now S5, now write S6. This paragraph has six sentences. How many? How many sentences? Six. Six. And the conclusion has come in the fifth sentence. Sentence one, topic sentence. Sentence one, topic sentence. Sentence two, supporting detail one. Sentence three, supporting detail two. Sentence four, supporting detail three. Sentence five, conclusion. Now look here. Let's write here. Let's write here. S1 Topic sentence, right? S2 Supporting Detail 1, right? S3 Supporting Detail 2, right? S4 supporting detail 3 right S5 S5 conclusion based on S2 S3 and S4 Conclusion, right? 
Now, what do you call this sentence? S6. What is S6? S6 is Oh God. I can't receive it. I'm busy. He's my friend. What happens? Look, Manila, I'm more disciplined than you are, right? People call me, people message me, but I don't receive them. Right? My friend. But I avoid receiving because I respect you. Why do I not receive? I respect you. Being a teacher, I should not receive a call because I'm teaching you. I hope you will have similar respect for Divakar, sir. Right? <laughs> and not receive messages while class is running on. Okay, wait here. I'll call this second sentence S6 as straddling sentence. A straddle is, look here, this rope, right? Right? VJ cable. HDMI cable. Look, what is straddling? Look, if I stand like this, I'm straddling. You have to struggle, you have to straddle to climb the bicycle. In between, there's a frame. You put either of the legs on both sides, right? A straddle means put your legs in two positions. A straddle means putting your legs on two sides. A straddle. Are you getting my point? Straddle. If I say, here's a bicycle, and I'm teaching you how to ride the bicycle, and I say, climb it, then you straddle. Have you seen? You straddle, right? Straddling means being present in two locations. Two locations. And straddling sentence does two things. And straddling sentence connects two paragraphs. It connects two paragraphs. How? How? And straddling sentence connects two paragraphs because it says something to the present paragraph as well as it says something about the coming paragraph. Getting my point? A straddling sentence concludes the present paragraph, finishes it, and also gives us a hint about what is coming in next paragraph. So, a straddling, a straddling sentence makes connection between two paragraphs. Between two paragraphs. Earlier, earlier we saw the connection among sentences in the same paragraph. Now we are seeing the connection between two paragraphs. And if you know to create good straddling sentences, then all your, all your, all your, all your, let's, 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 I want, yes, pick, connect your fingers together, 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 yeah, yeah. Now look, paragraph one, paragraph two, paragraph three, and this is a straddling sentence. Yes. Come here, come here, come, come here, come, 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 quickly, quickly, come, come, quickly, come, 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 come. We want a demonstration. Come quickly. Come now. <coughs> Good idea. Yeah, come. Come here. You demonstrate what is a startling sentence. That way they can be active. They are lazy, feeling lazy, you know. <laughs> okay, here. Be in a line. Here, here. Come this side. Come this side. All you three. You also come. Four. Four. Imagine that we have an essay that has four paragraphs. How many? Four. Now, connect your hands, fingers. Good. Okay. So clearly on the camera. Show. Hello, hello. Hello, wait a minute. Wait, don't teach them. Let, look. Paragraph one, paragraph two, paragraph three, paragraph four. Now, this connection of the finger, this is a struggling sentence. Let's say para one. The last sentence, so this startling sentence ends the paragraph and hints the next paragraph. Ends paragraph, hints next paragraph. Ends paragraph, hints next paragraph. Are you clear? Now you explain this, explain this, explain this, explain this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
so as you give the big clap and hinted me we will end it here and sunday uh uh uh, uh deepthi <laughs> oh, aditi aditi and divaka will continue aditi come here come here aditi you saw me explain so much right uh hello did you know these things before my explanation little bit how did you know those things where did you learn those things Ah, I want to know. You didn't know all these things, right? But you knew some of them. How did you know them? Sir, because you were presenting other topics. In other classes? No, no, this class only. Other topics. Oh, okay. So Sunday we'll continue. Look, it took us forty-five minutes to discuss a single paragraph. Did you see? Yes. Sir. So it takes time to understand things. hope you got it and hope at home now aditi will have better understanding of the other paragraphs and when she comes on sunday she will make more effective presentation okay give her a big hand thank you we stop here for today see you on sunday thank you